Okay, hello, welcome and welcome back. I think the music's pretty loud, but we're gonna be starting LA Noir today. There we go. We're gonna be starting LA Noir today. I've been trying to play this for the longest time, but it's been really hard because it's been launching on my other monitors and I finally figured out how to fix it. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile. The car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. You hard, baby. The city of pioneers. Century city that will become a model for the world. Who it is? Who done it? Oh my God! It's John Marston. A city that has no boundaries. I haven't said that in my whole life. That will minute. stretch as far oh as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, reflection. you deal with the chain of command. Okay. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective in ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. <gasps> We're driving. Okay, actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and hide my taskbar because the way this is launched is very weird and my taskbar is annoying me. So I'm gonna try and hide it. There. Hopefully that should fix what my issue is. Uh, I have it at 144 hertz and everything on quality. Hopefully that's all okay. I don't know. So. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. I just know I'm gonna get hated on my driving again. Oh God. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Alleyway LA crime scene, 10 11 Floyd PM. Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon, bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. What do you mean happy hunting? Uh, um. This is a fist hump. I'm gonna check the audio. Hopefully that audio is a bit better. I'm sorry if it was a bit loud. Um. Just going yeah. through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me 
and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. That's weird. Social occasions thoroughly to discover clues. Music will fade down to indicate that all clues at a location have been discovered. Look at this junk. Okay, musical chimes control the vibration or magnifying glass icon we use with... We're going very quickly. You said look? It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. How? Oh, okay. This what have you got, Phelps? Anything? Just a bottle. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Okay. New clue, blood. Should have put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Oh Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Found clues will be added to your notebook. You're going very quickly. Okay. We're never gonna find it. It's a waste of time. So all we have right now is the blood stain. Also, I'm playing this on keyboard and mouse because I have issues with my hands. Um, it's a long story, not gonna explain it, but yeah, that's why I'm using keyboard and mouse. It doesn't appear to be connected. Okay. Move towards a drain pipe. We can climb up drain pipes? Doesn't tell me anything. Okay. Oh wait, there's a cigarette. I, I don't think that would say anything either. Wait, do you mean this? No. What does he mean by drain pipe? Okay, that's just a bottle. Oh. Oh, a revolver. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. Oh, gun. I call. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. Find a way up there. Could we not just go through the door? I feel like that is a, uh, you know, a great shout. The gun's up on the roof, right? Okay. So we need to find a way up. This is very dark. I hope it gets lighter. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay, I quit. Okay, okay, okay. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Does it mean this drain pipe? Okay. Parkour time, let's go. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? Oh! Search for points of interest. Hold the camera zoom slightly to allow it to zoom in. I don't even want to think about what that smell is. Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Is that engraved? Well, obviously it's engraved, but is that the name? Two of rounds the fired. Company that makes Instead it. of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. Each recovered clue is sketched and catalogued, okay? Let's stay. Person of interest are listed by name, Scooter Payton. 
Personal details are questions are listed for POI. Okay. Um, I'm gonna guess I head back down. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Use your notebook to set your next destination. Be under location? Gun store. Okay. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help I've old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. I don't get... Why is it telling me to do that? I've already said the destination. Don't confuse me, game. I have a good thing going here. This is fun, though, yeah? One piece, se semi, kind of, kind of bit. Officers okay. Phelps and Dunn, can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson, Model Twenty Seven, registered Magnum, chambered for three fifty seven, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner. No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This That's is about what something bad, right? Obviously. Orders. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Model 27. Seven with gold grips. Twenty. Yeah. No. Pearl grip. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, two hundred three South Glass Street. Order oh, the gun in grip. February forty six. Thanks. You've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Okay. Now do we use? Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Yeah, I was gonna say, we should set the destination. Okay, access the map via the first There we go. <laughs> 
I've got to say, one of the reasons... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, no, gun, that's the gun store. Okay, we're going over here. No, that's the crime scene. We're going over here. So if we go down here, then go up, and then we can just carry that. I've got to say, one of the reasons I didn't... I stopped enjoying GTA was because of the driving. I wasn't good at it, no. But then when you're told you're not good at it multiple times, it does stop you from playing. So this is why I'm kind of worried about playing this, because I... I've, I love the investigation part. I think it's so much fun finding clues and stuff like that. I love all stuff like that. I'm just, I'm really worried that I'm going to stop enjoying it. I don't know, because of the driving. <laughs> just bear with me, please. Okay, what did I say? We go down here and then we go up. Yeah. And then we go down Fourth Street. wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of them. The music is really loud, I kind of want to turn it down a bit. Okay, inspect. He's number two. Schroeder, apartment two. Why is this game so dark? Bro! Dumb, dumb. <laughs> okay. There's one apartment per floor. No, wait, it's here. Oh wait, can I inspect this? What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Where then you'll it? be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh. That was a very bad move, Schroeder. You ready, tough guy? Huh? Oh, God. That's the wrong spot. That, Ralph, this isn't even a spot. All right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Okay. New Keep an eye on him, Ralph. Yeah. I'm going to take a look around. Investigation music plays when you enter a crime scene or location of interest. I wonder if it would be better for me to have my other one. So if I use this one instead, just so you can see what writing appears there. Yeah. We go in the kitchen. Got some eggs, some crisps. They're gonna go stale real quick. Nothing in here. Oh. Junk. Okay. Dude, do your washing up. I swear to God. Mystic tales. Utopia. Don't think this is any use to us. These Probably nothing. I mean, people smoke everywhere. 
but they were at the crime scene. I doubt it. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, these were. Th I mean, these. This is probably nothing. But take a smarter man than me to connect that. Let me check out the drawer then. Oh, a notebook. Are there pe people's names? List of names and a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247. Request entry. Are we going to have to, like, interrogate them? Sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but. Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Is that why he doesn't want to take it in? Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end one way. All units, a 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised, suspects are armed and dangerous. <laughs> Roger, KGPL. I get it. 14 Adam on route. I'm so sorry. Take it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. Damn, you have to turn the car. Okay. Take it slow. Back up will be here soon. Okay. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a chance. Chance, Coffin. Ah! 
Any more? Yeah. For me, you look right. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Okay. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. So cute. That felt like that was dialogue cut off. <laughs> This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. You heard the veterans. Wait, the Japs love to shoot off. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future. Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? I don't like the change of music. <laughs> Cole Phelps and Jack Sunday. Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. The rhyming. I wish I had well, like the name. Shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Who was Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb, Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LAPD! Hold. Okay. Why you? Watch Come here, you little rat. He's hiding in the alley! Oh, God. Bowers, uh... hold it right there! Move towards the ladder, now, okay. I will shoot. I Come won't on. tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Doug, watch your fire! Don't want to do this, Wendell. The little kid of is so right cute. Now. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Oh, you got. Sorry, that actually scared me. You got the kid in. You fucking ask for it. Well, he just ripped the pipe off. I mean, he probably would be. But what if? I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. Whee! That's Give it up, fun. Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Ooh. Wait. Come on, then. Loser! What you doing, Wendell? Such a loser. 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 He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. No, this I hump will be did. back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? I'm so confused as to how this game works. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The in right the decision Corps. is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. 
Merrill, six. Kowalski, six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! So is that like the... I want to say training academy, I don't know if that's necessarily the white... White? White for every cop, threat? There's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay, another crime scene. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Broad daylight. A crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Okay. Nothing there. Oh, that was what I was just looking at. Oh, a letter. Oh, a, a check? No, a receipt. A voucher. See Galetta. Playway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Robbery? about his other hand. Probably nothing. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Such a we should make sure we check the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Okay. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, Miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Oh, Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Okay, interviews, eyewitness account. Questions are listed on the right. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came so back. the witness closely as they make that statement. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> Do you think the witness is lying in fruit like lie? Press I kind of want to say I'm dad. having a hard time believing that, young lady. You want to be taken to a police cell? You're hardly any older than me. Don't you dare talk to me that way. A man is dead, Miss Galetta, and it's a criminal offense to lie to a police officer. I will take you down. Oh, I got it wrong? Get out. Get out right now. Send in one of the other policemen if you must. 
but I won't say another word to you. Did I get that wrong? I just, I don't know, there was something about it that I did not trust. Incidental. What do you mean incidental? Oh, God, what's happening? What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, no. The music is picking up here. What does intuition say? Okay, don't get it. It's fine. Am I missing something? Excuse me, officer. I want to get any closer. What? Bro, have some decency. Oh, wait. Oh, I think that was just oh, a glitch. Stop. No, no, no. Gotta be something big. There's something here. Casings. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Okay, so I definitely can't speak to her. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Case objectives, let's see that. On Foot Patrol on Grand Avenue, approximately 2 p.m., I heard shots fired nearby and a woman scream. Incident appears to be an ambulance shooting outside Nunbush Shoes on West 7th Street. It's too late for the victim, but a uniform backup is en route to, main to contain the scene and any potential witnesses. So I still have to search the crime scene. I've looked at this. I don't know what else I'm supposed to look at. What happens if I get into the vehicle? Oh! No wait, that's here. What does that say? Each inspection catalogs. I really feel like I've done something wrong here. I can already tell I'm gonna get annoyed with this game. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Back we go. We have the murder weapon, but no murderer. The girl saw it all, but she clammed up on it. Why the would they leave Eagleson's the gun, gun by the stores a couple Wait. blocks from here? Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. I guess if it was like a very hasty decision, not wanting to get caught if they run off of there. Uh, locations, gun store. Destination. Okay, let's do it. Straight! Keep it straight! What's so goddamn hard about that? Everything. Everything is hard about that. Oh god. What the hell is going on here? Why have they stopped? What did I tell you about going too hard on the witness? She's a store assistant, not a prisoner of war. Is that supposed to be funny? I'm just saying that sometimes you need to pour some sugar on these broads. A little bedside manner can go a long way. And since when are you the expert? We got the murder weapon, didn't we? You shouldn't dole it out if you can't take it, Phelps. She was a looker, though. Tell me I'm wrong. No wonder you're suddenly so obsessed with bedside manner. Oh. Sigh. Jesus! I very nearly got that perfect. There we go. Eagleson's gun store. Officer, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. 
thing looks like it never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Let's hope he's Thanks on shift. Okay. Back in the vehicle we go. Destination, please. A new watch. No. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Don't say the cops, please. Run. Son oh, of God. a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Oh, it was him. Oh, what a little rat. Kalu, get back here! I mean, I'm sure you don't want me to. Oh, wait. Well, then why did you tell me to aim it? That's a bit dumb. Girl, Can I not skip this? Or a tracker? Stop, or I will shoot. Wait, what? I can't believe this is happening. Edgar Kalu. Got You're him. under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. The case that makes you and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what ifs, the might have beens, the half leads, and the half truths. More? The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man <laughs> of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? Ooh. I am, young Phelps. You've only been with you us a short so time realistic. and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. But also like potatoes Not to mention the, the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. I'll give it a shot. You need many Get things it. for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, <laughs> and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Scared. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. I'm so bad at telling women who are lying. I'm scared. I'm not gonna do well. I thought that woman was lying. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I wanna see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Okay. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. They're blinking a lot. And they're not... They're blinking, they're not looking straight. Can I use intuition? Ask the community, what? What does that mean? 
for statistics on how other detectives approach this line of questioning. What did the remove and answer mean? Keep your evidence in mind during an interview in order to identify false statements. Okay, I think he's lying. You deny owning a Browning pistol, serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Evidence is key. Keep your evidence in mind. Gage was an asshole, but his death wasn't down to me. Wait. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! This is gonna take a while for me to understand because I don't get it. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Right. It's pr press to select an end. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. Careful use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs in interviews and interrogations. Fine. No. Um, intuition. To narrow down... Okay. But he's lying. Wait, what? You deny owning a Browning pistol. Serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but 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 it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Evidence is key. Murder weapon service. You had the gun cleaned and bought a new box of ammunition. Okay. The store owner remembers you and where you worked. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. Religious motive? Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? I'm down. You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. His intuition. Oh, I pr keep pressing the wrong one. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first-degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. I got it, <laughs> finally. Oh my God. I kind of understand Masterfully it. Masterfully done, now. Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department oh, needs heroes. You changed the tune. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. We did it! Police Academy, that was an achievement!
Oh, patrol complete. Your actions have earned you a promotion. Prepare for reassignment. Okay. The driver's seat. Okay. I think that's a really good place to leave it for today. Of course it was to take so long to come on. I think that's a really good place to leave it for today though. We finished patrol. That was really fun. It was really tricky. I think just the lack of directions really kind of confused me. But once I went in the second time and kind of narrowed it down and was able to read it, because I was more so focusing on him the first time, trying to see if he was lying or not, but I wasn't reading the instructions. And then by the time I got around to reading them, I they, they went off screen. So the next time, the second time that I did it, I, kind of gathered what I was supposed to be doing a bit more and I do get it a bit more now. The driving in this game it is a bit delayed, it's just slightly delayed but I think that's just because it's an old game. Hopefully this port isn't a bad one, there's been quite a few bad ports so I'm hoping it's okay, I'm hoping there's no bugs or glitches or whatever. It seems to be all right so far. The only thing that's a bit iffy is a frame rate but I don't really know if I can fix that in any way but yeah I really enjoyed that, it was really fun. Please let me know any like tips, tricks, anything that I need to know playing this game. I would really, really appreciate it, but I'm going to leave that there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next part of LA Noir. Okay, bye!